Um, it's alright, it's up to you. Okay. Just go ahead and grab that, yeah. Alright. All good? Alright, so, I promised myself when I first joined this club, I would never ever do this, okay? I hate this with a passion. I mean, about to say these words, give me dispens dyspepsia. But nevertheless, being my last speech as a cadet, I feel like I should talk about leadership. I hate talking about leadership and those talk about it all the time. I hate them with a passion so, so much. Right, Chalfont? Oh. All right. <laughs> but here's the thing. I feel so much at the school we hear about it that once we start hearing those words, leadership, ethics, morals, LTP, what happens? I just saw those two in the back row like me just shut off because they've been through it for three years, like I, four years like I have, and we hate it all. We just can't stand it anymore. There's a few things I still haven't figured out why we even learned them in the first place. For example, Now, good concept, okay? I'm not saying I hate the, guy, the, the idea. Raise your hand if you know what this means. What does it mean? Your hand went up first. Yeah, what does it mean? Yeah, yeah, but how do you do it? This stuff you're supposed to do, but how do you do it? <laughs> by force. By force, okay? Community service, okay. Okay, so here, well, you seem very, you seem very depressed when I didn't read call on you. What do you want to say? Uh, like that picture where there's the guy on the cart getting the people to pull him, and then there's the person pulling with the workers. That's the difference between mm -hmm. the certificate being a servant and him just getting down there and doing stuff with you and not being there for him and supporting him. Okay, I'll accept that. That's actually a pretty good example. But so often, it, but that's, yeah, that is leading, but there's a, should a leader always be there? Can a leader always observe and do his job as leader if he's always there? No. no. Here's the thing, I'm off again in the trenches. We're supposed to, we have to, we need to. Never do anything you're not gonna do yourself. Never have anybody else do something you're not gonna do yourself. But that's not, this isn't a very, if, if you're only doing this, you're missing a lot. If you're only doing this, you're failing. You need to have more. Now, there's another side of this. You have that one. It's, it's, I see two very extremes. That's one extreme, okay? Another extreme. Another extreme. One extreme, we have too much involvement with the leader. Other extreme, we have too little involvement, okay? My personal example with this, well actually many examples with this, uh, I've been pulled a lot when I was a sophomore, did a lot of stupid things, but hey, whatever, part of life. I suggest it sometime. No one lost a lot, that's cool. <laughs> now, I got pulled recently though, and I would've been fine with this. I would be totally fine, but I didn't know about my April 7th poll until two weeks after it had happened. I didn't even know anything was wrong. There's no conversation here. There's no leadership involvement here. I, as a subordinate, have no idea what I did wrong or how I, I offended this person. I mean, his, his advice was pretty you know, on point, but all I could take from this was, I messed up, he's wrong, because I know what I was doing, I hate this guy now. It's a feeling of hatred, of loathing. And that comes out in my ear W quite a bit. In this three paragraph <laughs> rant, which I am struggling to let go and actually pass it around. I don't want to put it on the board. I don't want to read it out loud because this is recorded. But <laughs> I'll, I'll pass this around for you all to read and peruse. This came from a place of 
damn it. <laughs> it came from a place of hate, okay? That's why I didn't turn that in, obviously, but that came from a place of hate. That should never, no subordinate should ever feel that to a superior, okay? My personal opinion, if you think I'm wrong, explain it. But, hey, I have the same problem with pounding the quad, aka tours. Let's say you do a tour. What do you do when you're doing a tour? Uh, who's done a tour here before? Okay, you over there. What do you do when you, write, when you do a tour? Pretty miserable, right? Yeah. What do you think about while you're doing that? Lots, what? Lots, Lots. Any of it pertaining to what got you there in the first place? Nope. Awesome. So how is that helping anybody? That's my question to y'all. You see, here's the thing. I remember when I was in the and things, times were different back then, and I don't know how different they were. I'm not going to say, I wasn't involved at all. Y'all did some good stuff. I'm not saying y'all didn't, okay? Love, respect, whatever. Ethics in action. But I remember when I messed up as a knob, when I did mess up often, what would happen was instead, you would have the person pushing you, right? And while, and while you're being pushed or whatever you're happening, he'd be down in your face telling me like, hey, so this is, what like, this is what's happening, this is what you're doing. Hey, you're part of this company now, okay? So you better buck up, man up, grow some gojones, right? This is, what you did, this is what you did wrong, fix yourself before this happens again. Because it will happen again if you keep on this track. And yada, yada, yada. Do you agree with me? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right, now, I'm kind of high up the fence here. I'm going to get out of this before I throw up. But I think we can all agree that the more involved the leader is in explaining why you got there in the first place, the more you actually think about it, the more your, your punishment actually changes your behavior. If a punishment doesn't change your behavior, then what's the point? We should never have quad gods. If y'all don't know what that is, then this school's going down the drain. <laughs> but a quad guy essentially means you have too many tours to, like, you know, to count. <laughs> it's just, there's no other way to explain it. What's up? <coughs> Want to raise your hand? Okay, never mind. <laughs> All right, but that's a problem, I think. Think about what leadership is to y'all. Think about how involved y'all have to be. And don't be too removed and don't be too deep in it. Because once you get too deep, then you become, not the leader, you become the buddy. If you're too removed, you're not the leader, you're the manager. Ah! Oh. Oh. I wanted to give you a little caveat.